Hello today and welcome back to Steins Gate. We are here to collect the alternate ending to chapter 10, Mayuri's route, Mayuri's ending, with her unique version of the chapter. So let's go into load and I know I have a save file already prepared for it. Here it is. And it does come with an alternate name. Chapter 10, Stardust Sky. So the way this works is that the first two thirds of the chapter are completely identical, exact same text, exact same events, but things diverge in the scene in which Okabe and Karisu are at Rade Khan and it starts raining and then they take shelter inside and they start talking about Okabe's decision and what he's going to do. So the first time we saw that, he ultimately says, I can't decide, I'm not going to give up. And then you get the spiel about how he, uh, they gloss over the fact that he tries tons of things that he keeps trying to time leap and figure out ways to keep my eerie alive and none of it works. And then ultimately you have the kiss scene with Karisu back at the lap. Well, that's completely different in this version of the chapter. So let's cut to when things start getting different from what we experienced the first time. Similarly. A meaningless apology. These words are a death sentence, but I force myself to speak them. It takes every ounce of willpower I possess. When I finish, I feel as if a great weight has left my shoulders, and at the same time, as if a thousand needles are stabbing into my heart. Karisu weakly returns my embrace. Then she lets go and stands up. Sateto. There's already a look of relief on her face. To America? In that case, we should go back together. But before I can suggest it, Karisu beats me to the punch, as if she read my mind. We can't go back together. That's her verdict. I hang my head and shut my eyes. Karisu's footsteps fade into the distance. I wrap my arms around my body. Even though it's summer and sweltering hot, I can't stop my body from shaking. I realize that part of me is relieved that Karisu left alone. At least I won't have to face her again, to look upon the face of the girl I chose to die. I'm a coward. <laughs> My self-loathing echoes in the darkness. We got mail from Karisu. Cease to inquire what the future has in store, and take as a gift whatever the day brings forth. Horace, Italian philosopher. I'm going back to my hotel. Do what needs to be done. Good night. I wait about two hours before returning to the lab. Karisu is already gone when I get there. All she left is a sing single email. I sit down on the sofa. While drying my hair with a towel, I look towards the PC in the corner of the room. It's already connected to the IBM 5100, ready for Daru to start hacking. I already got in touch with him. The hacking starts tomorrow at noon. I drove myself even further into a corner by telling that to Daru. Now I can't turn back, no matter how much I want to. I chose my Yuri. I will let Karisu die. Showering didn't soften the wrenching pain in my heart. In truth, I'm just riding on Karisu's resolve. Mine is still a flimsy thing. I can't help but wonder, is this really okay? Really? Mayuri opens the door and enters.
For a moment after she catches sight of me, she looks ready to burst into tears. But that quickly gives way to a smile. Ocarina. I swallow hard. Maybe I should explain the situation to Mayuri. But I know she'll feel guilt if I tell her. Mayuri doesn't need to know. Everything will be okay as long as we crack Saren's database and reach the Beta World Line. Can I really let it end like this? Shouldn't I tell her what Karisu is sacrificing for her sake? Mayuri moves behind the sofa, grabs the bath towel on my head, and starts rubbing my hair dry. I didn't mind the towel so much, but then she buries her nose into my hair and starts sniffing. I jerk my head away. Mayuri goes back to drying my hair. ね。コミマを楽しんでなんかいられないなって。だから有明まで行ったけど、参加せずに帰ってきたの。そうか。悪かったな。心配かけて。Should I tell her? Or should I keep her in the dark? Mayuri。もし俺が… お前に隠し事をしてるって言ったらどう思う実はオカリンとクリスちゃんは付き合っていますっていうびっくりなことなぜそうなるでもねオカリンとクリスちゃんはとっても仲がいいでしょ二人はお似合いだと思うな そんな話をしているんじゃないんだ。うん。うん。全部話してほしいなんて思ってないよ。人質だからね。どっちかって言うと何も教えてもらえないのが普通だもん。そんな話をしているんじゃないんだ。Mayuri's hand leaves my head. I look over my shoulder in a panic, thinking she wandered off again. She's there. I grab her hand, perhaps more forcefully than I meant to. Again. いっそう言わないかもしれないぞ。それはね、とっても気になっちゃうけど、でもしょうがないかな。その隠していることが、お前に関係していることでも、マユシに？俺はお前を傷つけたくなくて話さないでいるんだ。
傷ついてもいいっていうのか。Mayuri replies with a gentle smile. She nods without any hesitation. Her smile is so sincere, it strikes me speechless. Useful. Suddenly I remember. Mayuri is going to die tomorrow. I've been through it once before. She died protecting me, and her last words were. So this is what she meant. If that's how she feels, I'll tell her everything. I let go of Mayuri's hand and pat the sofa beside me. Mayuri does as she's told. Mayuri sits up straight with her hands folded in her lap. Anxiety clouds my e r i e s face, but I ignore it and take her chin in my fingers. A switch is already flipped inside of me. Ha 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 And so I begin speaking as the mad scientist whose foolish experiments brought ruin to everything. I start with the first raid on the lab. I tell my Yuri how Moika killed her. Next, I tell her about Suzuha and Ferris, about Lukako, Moika, FB, and Nai. I describe their fates in every detail. And finally, I tell her about Karisu. Snawachi! Makse Kuriso, Ikini Eto Ste! There was a lot to explain, and Mayuri kept asking questions, desperate to understand the strange concepts I was throwing at her. Thanks to that, the conversation went longer than expected. It's already getting late. That's <laughs> <laughs> Finally, it's over. <sighs> Mayuri says nothing. She's staring at her hands, which are clenched into tiny, trembling fists. She looks ready to cry any second. <laughs> Mayuri shakes her head and bites her lip. <laughs> Christian, 
何にも知らなかったお前が責任を感じる必要はないのだ全てはこの俺による計画なのだからな幻滅したカーマユリだが俺は仲間を平気で犠牲にできる男故にお前がベータ世界線に行きたくないと言ってもそれを聞き入れるつもりはないお前には俺の人質として絶対に最後まで付き合ってもらうぞ<笑>世界に訪れる混沌これこそがシュタインズゲートの選択なのだ Mayuri ignores my performance. She gets to her feet and lurches towards the door. I quickly grab her by the wrist. Oi! Do go! Christian, I need to go. Ne, Okari! Christian, I need to go! There's no way I can refuse Mayuri's request. I contacted Karisu. We arranged to meet on the UPX overpass at 4.30 in the morning. I was wondering why she wanted to meet so early, but I understand once I see her. She's dragging a large suitcase. She faces us with a smile. その suitcase. まさかんああそういうことよ帰るのかアメリカにクリスナーズもともと8月の頭には帰る予定だったんだけどどっかのマッドサイエンティストに捕まって予定より長めの滞在になっちゃったもう私が手伝えることもないだろうし後腐されなくって意味でもいいでしょ Is she doing this for me? Or is she trying to outrun her fear? It's not my right to stop her. Even if I did, it wouldn't change anything. Today, as planned, I will crack Cern's database and move to the Beta World Line. I've made my decision. Mayuri is next to me, standing still with her head hung. Mayuri? What's that? Why are you s I gently nudge her back. Hold on, Mayuri. <laughs> She takes one step, pauses for a second, then leaps on Kurisu with a cry. Kurisu! What happened? Mayuri is here! Kurisu is not here! Karisu hears the desperate plea in Mayuri's voice. She gives me a look that asks, Did you tell her? I silently nod. I expected Mayuri might say that. It's absolutely essential that I remain firm. I feel bad for Karisu, but it needs to be said. Pain stabs through my heart. These words are reprehensible. Karisu is going to be a good thing for you to be a good thing for you to be a good thing. それを保護にすれば最悪がこの地を襲うだろ I clench my fist tight to suppress my self-loathing クリスの思いを無駄にするなマユリーでもでもありがとうマユリークリスが握手を握手を握手を握手を握手を握手を私はもう自分の中で結論を出したし納得もしてるから知ってるあんたって岡部にものすごい愛されてるってえ
な何を言い出すのだ<笑>事実でしょ She gives me a mischievous smile. だからマユリが死んだら岡部はすごく悲しむ岡部にそんな思いさせたくないでしょでもクリスちゃんがいなくなったらマユシーは悲しいよそうね会えなくなると寂しいかなでもどうせ私は生きてたってアメリカに帰るつもりだったわけだしだから別の世界線に行っても私はアメリカにいるものだと思えばそう大した違いはないそういう問題じゃないもんクリスちゃんが消えちゃうのが嫌なんだもんねえやめよクリスちゃんが消えることないよ Kurisu separates from Mayuri and gazes straight into her face. She uses a gentle tone as if speaking to a child. Then she lightly bumps Mayuri on the head. Okabe, you can't tell Mayuri to talk to Mayuri. I'm going to tell you. I'm going to tell you. もう二度と岡部の顔を見なくて済むと思うと、先生するわ。She punctuates her insult with a smile. She's so cheerful now, a far cry from the shivering girl in the dark. To see her like this breaks my heart. I'm sorry. I repeat the words in my heart again and again, begging for forgiveness. Kurisu turns to go. She shouts over her shoulder. Mayuri freezes. Don't you want to see it? With that, Kurisu walks away. Early morning Akihabara, well before sunrise. The trains are just starting to run. She disappears into the station, dragging her suitcase behind her, alone. Mayuri falls to her knees, her face streaked with tears. As I approach, I hear her voice. <laughs> お前が謝る必要はない。全ては、この俺の決断だ。クリスには、消えてもらう。俺は、クリスを助けない。そして、世界には、俺が望む混沌が訪れるのだ。俺が許せないか。マユリならば恨めばいいだがそれでもお前には最後まで付き合ってもらう俺は俺はお前を救うためにクリスを見殺しにするだから お前がどれだけ俺を恨もうと、俺の意見に反対しようと、もう後戻りするつもりはない。俺の野望は誰にも止められない。Mayuri slowly stands up. Then she buries her face into my chest, just like she did to Kurisu. 
オカリンオカリンの本当の気持ち聞きたいよ How I really feel My ear looks straight up into my eyes オカリンが心の中で思ってることは素直な言葉で聞きたいよマユシーはねもう重荷になりたくないからなってねえよなってるわけないだろうこれは俺のエゴだ俺がお前を助けたいだけだお前を失いたくないだけだ。ありがとう、おかり。ありがとう。マユリ tries her hardest to smile through her tears, and then once again she buries her face into my chest. いつも見てた怖い夢もそこに出てくる。かっこいいオカリンもきっと夢なんかじゃなかったんだねずっとマユシーを助けようとしてくれてたんだねねえオカリンマユシーはねオカリンのこと大好きだよオカリンがいてくれるからマユシーは毎日笑っていられるんだよこれからもずっと一緒にいていい当たり前だ I answer my e r i e with my embrace そんなの当たり前だろう一緒にいてくれないと俺が嫌だあのねマユシーは幸せになるよクリスちゃんと約束したから<笑>幸せにしてください<笑>話さないでください<笑>ずっと大好きでいさせてください<笑> The radiance of the rising sun pours out between the buildings. Daybreak. As the sky grows brighter, we remain in our embrace as if to reassure each other that we are still here. それではこれよりオペレーションベルダンディ最終フェーズを開始する Mayuri and Daru turned to me and nod Today is the last day of Komima Daru wanted to attend of course but a little begging convinced him to prioritize the operation I take a look around the lab These 20 days have seen constant change It's incredible to think that at one point this lab had a whole 8 members and now we're back to 3 The memories we made, the experiences we shared. To save my Yuri, I will undo them all. There is sorrow in me and guilt. I engrave them deep inside my heart. I'll never forget, I mustn't forget, these long yet short summer days. But still, I choose to erase our memories. I choose to return everything to normal. Suzuha's mission is irrelevant. I'm not doing this for the future. As long as my ear you lives, nothing else matters. Daru, let's start. It's good. Ah. Okie dokie! Daru starts typing on the IBM 5100. It's already connected to his main computer. This will get us into CERN Central Database, where they keep the data they mine with Echelon. There we will locate the first email I sent on July 28th. And erase all trace of its existence. With this, I can reach the Beta World Line. At last, my Yuri will be safe. I look at my Yuri. 
She's on the couch, sitting straight as a ramrod, with her grandmother's pocket watch pressed to her ear. She stays still, with her eyes closed. Whenever Mayuri wants to calm down, she listens to the sound of that pocket watch. Ever since we parted with Kurisu, Mayuri has said nothing about my choice. I guess she's come to terms with it in her own way. The actual work, I've left to Daru. No problem there. While waiting for him to finish, I walk into the development room. In the center of the room is the time weight machine. I squat down and gently brush my fingers against the microwave surface. It's cool to the touch. I've made irreplaceable friends because of this thing. And because of this thing, I've hurt them. But I don't want to blame the tool. It's how you use the tool that matters. And I've got to admit, it saved me more than once. But still. Once this is over, I'll destroy the time weight machine. We must never make the same mistakes again. Daru points to a string of characters. My name is there, followed by the message I wrote about Karisu's death. Three lines total, each 12 characters long. This data led CERN to our doorstep. At FB's instruction, Moika and the Rounders attacked. If Suzuha is right, then by erasing this data, we will escape from Attractor Field Alpha, where CERN dominates the future. That will lead us to Attractor Field Beta. To the Beta world line within its range of convergence. To a future without Mayuri's death. Mayuri is standing next to me, gazing intently at the monitor. She grasps my hand firmly. She looks anxious, so I pat her head to calm her down. Daru stands up and gestures to the open seat. I sit down and face the keyboard. This time, this time it ends. Karisu's face floats through my mind. I close my eyes and take a deep breath. Goodbye, Karisu. I slowly raise my right hand and extend my index finger. Daru twitches at my cry. One press of this key, and Karisu will die. I firmly grip my coat at the shoulder, where it has been stitched together with jagged pink thread. I wish for Mayuri to live, and Karisu to die. That is the truth, and I must never forget it. This is the choice of Okabe Rintaro. I swing down my finger and strike the inner key. After a while, the spinning stops, and color gradually returns to the world. Reading Steiner activated. The world line has changed. I look around the room. Next to me is Daru. Behind me is Mayuri. I reach out to her, and she takes my hand with a smile. Everything is where it should be. It looks like nothing has changed at all. I gently touch my coat's shoulder where Karisu fixed a torn seam. It's gone. My coat isn't torn. The stitches, uneven from having been sewn in the dark, have disappeared. There's no trace of that ridiculous pink thread. I stand up and head to the development room. Underneath the table, the time weight machine. No. That's not the time weight machine. That's the phone wave name subject to change. 
The upgrades Karisu made are gone. Nothing has changed. This world is exactly the same. In all respects save one. Karisu was never here. I thought that I was prepared for this. But now that I'm face to face with the cruel consequence of my decision, I feel powerless, defeated, I want to cry. Mayuri runs up and grabs my arm. No, Mayuri. I need to ask, even though I know what the answer will be. <laughs> the tears come. I crumple to my knees and cover my face with my hands. So <laughs> Her existence was rejected by the world. Mayuri rubs my back. I embrace Mayuri. I stifle my voice and cry. My eerie tenderly strokes my head. All trace of Karisu's existence has vanished. This proves that I have returned to my original world line. This is the world I struggled to reach. The world Suzuha traveled through time to create. A world where the future is free. Nothing has changed, and yet, this is my utopia. Alright, so that's Mayuri's ending, and there's actually a little bit more of it. There is a uh, stinger coming up after the credits, which is kind of nice. Adds a little uh, bow to tie this ending up. Unfortunately, <laughs> this is my second time having to do this, because I recorded it once, and then the curse struck and I lost the footage it literally corrupted like 20 minutes into the video fantastic I am cursed especially with Steins Gate and it's it's the most annoying when it happens with Steins Gate because when you save your system data it like accounts for all the lines that you've read so the first time I did it I got to turn on the auto feature and it just automatically zoomed me to the stuff that was new that I hadn't read before but having to come back and do it the second time that doesn't work so it's like damn it now I have to do it manually Oh well. So this ending, uh, very nice, uh, especially if you like My Yuri, if you're really invested in My Yuri as a character, it's uh, definitely a good ending. But of course, keep in mind that it's not canonical, and that most of what we saw the first time through Chapter 10 is straight up hard canon. The only thing that's not canon about the first version of Chapter 10 that we saw is like the last 10 minutes of it. Uh, we still have to view the true ending. I have to now go and raise the final flag for the true ending so that we can see that. But most of what we saw the first time was canon, so uh, Okabe's confession to Karisu, the kiss, all of that really happens. Obviously, if you've already played Steins Gate or you've seen the original anime, you already know that. But if there's any confusion, just want to put it out there, make sure that we're clear on that, that Karisu is the, you know, quote-unquote canon love interest. And that that's what really happens is Okabe's confession. And this is the alternate twist to that. And that uh, instead he chooses Mayuri completely on his own volition. But again, both chapters ultimately kind of get to the same place, which is that he goes back to the beta world line. So let's see our stinger.
The night of the 17th passed. The night of the 18th passed. And Mayuri still didn't die. I kept a close watch for three days since then. There have been no attacks, no accidents, no sign that anything might happen. That was enough to convince me that Mayuri is safe. Together with Daru, I destroyed the phone wave and the IBM 5100. Although we have lost the ability to send emails, that is a small price to pay to stay below CERN's radar. Tenoji is downstairs in the Braun Tube workshop, watching TV on the 42-inch CRT, like always. When I went to check out Rydicon, I found it open for business as usual. A search of the internet turned up no mention of a satellite crash. Instead, I found a small article in the local section of a newspaper, dated July 28th. It was a report on Carisu's murder. There was no follow-up. The culprit is still at large. According to Daru, the police questioned me several times. It was I who discovered the body, after all. Of course, I don't remember any of that. At any rate, my Yuri is still alive. I've accomplished what I set out to do. It's over. Okay. Mayuri emerges from the ticket gate, waving her hand as she runs my way. She weaves through the gaps between shoppers and maids handing out leaflets, and when she gets to me, she looks at me with puppy dog eyes. <laughs> Mayuri doesn't answer me. She just strokes my cheek gently. Silently. She's crying, but she doesn't seem sad. Rather, she seems overcome with emotion. Mayuri wipes away her tears, making room for her shy, innocent smile. I have no idea how to respond to such an embarrassing question. But she's right, Mayuri and I are officially a couple. After these long, painful 20 days, I finally noticed how important Mayuri is to me. Plus, she told me that she loved me. I start walking without waiting for Mayuri's response. Eh? It's Sunday. Despite the heat, I see plenty of shoppers laden with bags enjoying themselves on the streets of Akiba. I suddenly feel a void in my heart. Nothing about this town has changed. Yet it feels like something is missing from my life. No doubt it's the gap that was left by Karisu. But there's no such thing as a perfect future. That is a fantasy that nobody can realize. I mustn't forget. This is the future I wished for, fought for, and won. I have what is most important to me, my Yuri. I should be thankful for that. I am blessed far beyond the common man. I look beside me and realize that my Yuri's not there. I turn around. She's not there either. My Yuri? She's gone. She's always like this. Sometimes she just wanders off. Anxiety seizes my heart. My Yuri promised she would never leave me. This world line is worthless without her. My Yuri! I shout her name at the top of my lungs. I search for her in the crowd, but it's too thick to see. My Yuri! I turn around to see my Yuri running towards me. In her hands, is shaved ice. <laughs> 
I feel so relieved. I want to embrace that small body of hers, but we're in public, so I stop myself. I take the shaved ice and hold my empty hand out for Mayuri. <laughs> Mayuri takes my hand. Her slender fingers intertwine with mine. <laughs> Mayuri puts just a little more strength into her grip. Love for her fills my heart. Suddenly, Mayuri looks up at Rade Khan. あのね、起きているのに夢を見たことってある夢それはハクチュームというやつかそういう風に呼ぶのオカリ物知りだねあのね、それが誰だかわからないんだけどマユシーにはとても大切なお友達がいた気がするの何その大切なお友達のことを考えるとねすごく切なくなって胸のあたりがキューってなるんだたまにね声も聞こえるんだよ声って幸せになりなさいって All of that was undone. I erased those memories, sacrificed them. Perhaps everybody remembers their experiences from other world lines. Those memories may be vague and tenuous, but they're there. They speak to us in the form of dreams, visions, and deja vu. I'm not the only one who remembers. その人誰だったのかな？きっと神様だ。そっか、神様ありがとう。マユシーはとっても幸せです。Mayuri looks up. She reaches out to the sky, like always. She shakes hands with the stardust, twinkling beyond the coat of blue. I look up too, to hold back the tears. And on we walk, hand in hand. So that is Mayuri's ending, Stardust Sky. Well, I guess we can save it, not that it matters too much, considering I already did it once. Yeah, yeah, overwrite. See, had I known I was going to lose that footage the first time, I wouldn't have done this. Alright, let's look at the trophy list. Because that's one more. We're missing the platinum. The true ending to chapter 10. All CGs. And uh, all endings completed. So we see that Mayuri's got added right up here. So we have all the alternate endings. And that's all that's left is to get the true one, the final one. And what that entails, well, like I said, there have been multiple flags raising over the course of the main story that uh, lead to the true ending. Decisions you can make with emails. And when we start next time and I reload chapter 10 again, we will raise the final true ending flag, check it off, and then fast forward until uh, we get to what changes and we'll see how chapter 10, how the ending differs from what we saw the first time when we had Karisu's ending. We will then get to start 
uh, the true ending, which is in itself another chapter. It's like a chapter 11, basically, is the true ending. So we'll get through all that. So the finale is next time. See you guys then.